Hello and welcome back to our Christmas in July 24 hour live stream a thon. Yes, we are still rocking and rolling. I am Elena Rodriguez. I am the founder of the Christmas Widow, my baby project. Um, and we're just going to get right into it. I have Karen Weigent on um, camera with us, and she is the founder and creator and the magnificence behind this lock arms pendant that I wear all the time. So we're going to say hello to her and let her just tell us a little bit how this came to be. Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Hi, Elena. I'm very fine. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much. I'm just excited to be with the Christmas widow and to go with this great cause of yours. It feels just, good, it's doesn't awesome. it? It feels so good. Yes. <laughs> Um, well, how my pendant came about was I, I just was searching for something a little bit in my life and didn't know what, and it all started a couple years ago when I was taking a class uh, called Ignite Your Spirit, and in that class, um, there was a couple words that was spoken, lock arms, and it just like it, it shouted to me. And I went home and I was like, I just had to scribble down um, the little lock arms and I didn't know where it was going at the time or anything, but it just kept pulling at me and pulling at me. And I've always felt um, just a higher power guiding me along my little journey in life. And uh, so just after digging through many classes and that and I just felt like I was speaking to God and I just God was telling me that I just had to go get this pendant um, molded and made and so I did it and yeah, yeah. and I'm going to ask you like right there like the, the whole connection because that's been your thing connection mm -hmm. connecting and I'm just going to tell you years ago in my fitness industry time that's when someone introduced lock arms to me and it just it just stuck with me and then I started saying it then you picked up on it and now here we are so that's divine purpose that's mm -hmm. God working in his ways that may take years to uncover so when you sketched this little pendant out and then you went on this journey to get it molded, find the jewelers, like, did people look at you like you were freaking nuts? Yes. Yes. It was like, what are you doing? And I said, I have to, I have been told to do this. I just feel it is something that I have to do. So here I am, you know, mm -hmm. and then realizing after, after a couple months had gone by and that I lost a friend uh, to mental illness. And I just, um, I didn't connect with her the way I should have. And I felt like I just needed to search into mental awareness a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I started to do a little bit more looking into different programs and things like that. So I decided that I was going to um, give back somehow to counseling. And so I'm giving back some to counseling with through NAMI and I am going to also through the Christmas widow. Oh, nice. Um, we yeah. love that. Thank you so much. So does that having that servant um, heart mm -hmm. and knowing what you're going through to build this, put yourself out there, like you're having to go through major breakthroughs and obstacles yourself. What, what gives you that drive to put yourself through that for a different purpose? Like, like what pushes you to do that? Well, I have been through a lot in my life and as everyone has, I've been through a lot of ups and downs and so forth. And something happened to me when I was a young girl and I just had to um, 
deal with it not too awfully long ago. And I probably should have went into counseling myself, but I did not. And um, there was things that I wanted to tell my own father and never got the chance to tell him because he passed away. And so I feel like that connection was broken with my dad and just through the pain struggles in my own life, I just feel like I need to speak out more and more about mental illnesses, getting awareness out there. Um, so yeah. just so it, kind of, so it kind of gives you that like um, when it's bigger than you, Mm -hmm. and, and that's Very what gives nice you that well. strength to just say, like, move out of my way because this is happening anyway. So that's yes. what gives you that power, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You Very know, nice. I talk about being that pain <laughs> princess. I love talking about the pain because there's so much power in there. So I always just dig right into it. So what do you see for this down the road? Like, like when you're looking at your pendant, knowing that it came from a sketch on your notepad what do you what are you seeing for the future of all of this well I'm hoping that there will be many people that will join and lock arms with me and help someone else um, I want to donate you know money to different causes for counseling and I'm just in hopes that they will connect with this purpose. Mm -hmm. So, so with your time to connect, it's more about growing your business so you can donate to those programs, facilities, foundations. Um, you don't necessarily have a nonprofit foundation of your own. Correct. Correct. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, if people wanted to you know, get one of these lock arms pendants. Like I've been, I've been gifted and blessed to be sporting mine around and I wear it every single day. And it's, it just is dear to my heart. And people, people talk about it. They comment on it because at a glance, it looks like a cross, but it's lock. it's two arms, you know, yeah. to me, it's like the arms of my GOD locking with me to keep me up and going every day. So if people wanted to know more about this, or even just just ask you questions on how you've gone about this. What's the best way for people to reach you? Uh, they can go to the website. Uh, okay. It's time to connect LLC.com and they can watch the video there. Mm -hmm. And in that video, then um, I have my email address. They can, you know, contact me that way through the Very email. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So if somebody, is watching. Okay. Um, obviously this is a pre-recorded um, mm -hmm. interview that we're doing based on our scheduling. So when, when it's airing, if somebody is watching and they um, are feeling like that idea that they're having is way too big, or they couldn't even possibly do this thing because they don't know anything about it. There's just no hope for them. What do you have to tell them? Oh, I just say, just listen to your own heart and just take it day by day because it has been a struggle for myself to even acknowledge that I'm even doing this. Um, but there's just been, um, I would say just take cl some classes, um, just sit down and start writing on pieces of paper about little dreams that you have in your life, maybe start a little vision board of what, you know, you would like to do in your life. Um, just listen, listen to others that give you great advice and um, just go for something that would really bring joy to your heart. That's I, I love I that. Just go for something that would really bring joy to your heart. Now, I do know you personally. We've been working together, you know, over the years. Um, from my perspective, half of the journey of you 
bringing this out has been your own personal journey. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost like God selected something for you that was going to make you become more of you. So do you think that that works like that sometimes? I do. I do. Yeah. My own personal journey is definitely connecting with others. I, um, I have such a deep, deep desire to just connect and talk with others and And so looking back over the years, like looking back, um, how much, and I know it's going to be difficult to find the words, but how much have you changed? Can you recognize your change and your growth from when you first walked into my Ignite Your Spirit class? Oh, yes, very much so. Very much so. So what would you say are the biggest things you can recognize in yourself that have changed? Well, I think myself, I'm a little more outspoken than I used to be. Um, More joyful. It's just um, there, there's a purpose in there for everyone. And you just have to find that purpose. And um, just, I don't know, just overwhelming joy and the peace that I feel now that I know um, there's a higher power that is behind me and working through all of this. I love it. I love it. Um, So as we get prepared to to wrap up, um, again, I want to thank you for um, donating proceeds or a percentage or however you're going to do that um, to the Christmas widow this weekend, like Mm -hmm. this Christmas in July weekend only that that is huge because we have already received nominations for from widowed families for this Christmas already and um, every little bit's going to help so if people want to get one of these, they can visit the website. We'll put the link um, in the event tab. And also, um, not only are you supporting somebody with mental illness, suicide, depression, um, all the things that have touched us all deeply, but you're also supporting a widowed family and little children this Christmas that have lost a parent. And um, so that's like double, double blessings. Like, I love that. Um, So what are some last things that you would like to say before we wrap things up? I would just like to say that, you know, anyone that goes to the website um, can watch the video. And if they decide to purchase one of the pendants, I will be giving an extra $50 per pendant this weekend for to the Christmas widow. Thank you. And I've just, everyone that has that dream in their heart, just go for it. And I think this world would be a better place if we all connected and just take the time just to listen to people and just be there, just be there as a friend. And I think this world will be a better place. I love it. Thank you so much, Karen, for your time and for becoming part of our circle of hope, helping one person every day. That is my goal. We all have gifts and it just requires us to be brave to share them. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. We will wrap things up and